Hi everyone, very warm welcome back to the channel uh, for another instruction video this week. I want to take you through something called hanging back, um, a position that people often get in, a position I see pupils get in that normally leads to poor low point control or how you hit the ground, adding a little bit of loft to your golf clubs and hitting them a bit shorter, which is obviously a potential power leak. So um, hopefully you've been enjoying all the videos that have been coming out and you're obviously subscribing and liking the videos to keep up to date with obviously the content that's been released. So let's dive in now and have a look at what hanging back actually is and maybe a couple of ideas on how we can sort it out. So we've already said potential things that could happen from hanging back would be power leaks and low point control, but how do you look at it and what are you looking for? I generally look on video and put lines on the lead leg lead hip to try and look at the movement away from the target and to see if a player can keep their hip and leg at impact on the, on the line on the lead leg. Um, if you haven't got that, a, a stick in the garden, if you're, if you're practicing, put your foot up against the edge of the stick. There will be a little bit of a gap there to start with. And as you're moving through impact, you should make sure that your leg and your hip start to touch that stick at impact. You can see there that my hands and club are in the correct position at impact, and I'm driving and working and moving weight forward. If I don't, don't achieve that, and I, I do create a movement of hanging back, you'll start to see I move back, and there's a big line between me and the stick on, on the, uh, in the ground there. Obviously I said that the camera would be great if you've got lines on a camera to help you and you've got the software to do it, brilliant. You'll see it very, very quickly, but even popping a stick in the garden would really, really help this. So what we want to avoid is the movement where, you know, we're hanging back into that right leg. You can see a gap appearing between the hip and the ankle and the leg there, where I'm not managing to get my, my correct impact point where I should be touching the stick. So that's kind of where we are with hanging back. So I've already said we, we don't want to let this habit develop or this um, characteristic develop of hanging back because of things like low point control, power leaks, etc. But why does it happen as well? So when you're looking at your video, your video of your golf swing, if you are videoing your golf swing on camera at the minute or you know, you've been for a lesson, what are the things that are leading to this happening? Now, there might be things like physical limitations where your, your hip strength or your leg strength or your mobility in your hips might be a little bit weaker than it should be. So that's something you might need to go and get assessed. Is it something like the ball position being too far back in the stance? Having the ball back might cause you to move back onto your right side for a right-handed golfer and try and help the ball up or feel that you have to add loft and then create that hanging back situation. Is there an issue with the loft on your driver? Um, is there an, an issue with a vid maybe looking at a video that we did previously of reverse spine angle? Are you trying to compensate for another characteristic in your golf swing? So there's a lot of things that could be going on there that could be leading to your hanging back. So let's try and take a look at maybe some of the things we can do to sort that out and some exercises to get us on the right track. So as I said, I'm a really big fan of people using camera and if they've got the software to do it, put some lines in on that, that ankle and a vertical line straight up through the ankle, through the side of the leg, just to see if you are moving away from the line. Even the stick in the garden, putting the, putting the garden cane in the floor, putting your, trying to make the movement up against the cane is a really, really good one. If you're at the golf range or even at home, or if you're warming up at the golf club, um, put, put your golf clubs next to your, your leg, your lead side there, um, and, and just try and get a feeling of moving forward and touching your driver head cover or your irons so your hip and your leg feel like they're moving forward. Again, that hanging back sensation, if I'm moving in and not touching it, a gap would be appearing and then obviously we're in a position where we are hanging back so there shouldn't be a gap there when you're pushing forward if you're if you're hanging back you will create that that gap there another really good one as well you, you can try and feel that there's a little bit more weight under your right side for a right-handed golfer so as you're trying to push off and transfer weight even at a golf range with a golf mat banking up and putting your foot your right foot a little bit higher than your lead foot your left foot there and to me, it's very difficult to push back on your right foot and hang back if there's already something banked underneath that right side. So for me, if I make my backswing now, I feel because that side is banked up, I feel like I want to push forward and therefore limit the, the hanging back characteristic that we should see if we didn't transfer the weight properly. So hopefully there's a couple of ideas there that can get you away from that swing characteristic of hanging back. Hopefully you found that video helpful and interesting and you can get to work on that movement of hanging back if you think that was a characteristic that's been affecting your golf. As ever, if you are enjoying the content, please hit the subscribe button and like the video and that will keep you up to date as we release a video so you don't fall behind on tuning in. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.